again students I'm here for uh, re uh, recording the another section f with uh, 5.4 uh, in this section we are going to uh, talk about uh, so it's going to talk about uh, uh, the derivative of something else of the rules and substitutions and many things together so we have uh, really we are nearly to uh, finish our chapter and our class so that's why uh, today I am um, give you this lecture because uh, really th uh, this is the continuation for call 2 so please uh, pay attention in here we have what we have a uh, in indefinite integrals and we s we see that if you have a u we talk about this one you have u n plus one and that's all for example if you have something like that how we solve this one and you see the substitution u and u do you remember in the 5.3 so example 5.4 example one in page 10 in section 5.4 okay uh, we see that uh, we have what x cubed plus x all of them to power 5 3x squared plus 1 dx for that purpose how to solve this one how to find the value you know we have a, a brackets parenthesis kinda. so this one is very important with the exponent if you have another things with that one please try to find uh, or, or please uh, try to see what uh, what else we have so here we have 3x squared plus 1, which is the derivative of this one. If it's a u to power 5, the derivative of u is here. So it's a du, all of them. So in that case, we say what? We say we will just add an exponent and we divide to the new exponent. Okay, dear? So 5 plus 1, 6 over 6. Why? Because the, the derivative of inside uh, uh, has already in the outside. But that's all about the function about the uh, first example for the second example we have another thing so we need a substitution substitution what substitution method this is the method okay so we have a, 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 a lot of methods especially in the cal2 so here's the first and important uh, method that you need uh, because we need a continuation as I told you the continuation of this subject in the cal2 so this is the basic so uh, here you cannot do anything why try to say we, I have 2x plus 1 for example which the many students each year say we will do like that then later you see the derivative of here is exist the derivative of here is exist yes he's right so why because the derivative of here is equal to what is equal the derivative of inside is equal to 2 dx but we have only 2 so we will put 2 here and 1 over 2 to outside, then the result will be what? 1 over 2, 2x plus 1, 1 over 2. And you know, we will add to what? To, to the new exponent, which is equal to 1 over 2, okay? 1 over 2, 2x plus 1 over uh, 3 over 2, here's 3 over 2 plus c, and this one will also come to up, will be 2 over 3, which is equal to 1 over uh, 3, x 2x plus 1 3 over 2 plus c that's all that we have okay dear it's easy you can try to find how he substitute this section this uh, part now i have what i have the second square first of all you should know about the second square is equal to what the integral of the second square that's the very important the basic one second square we have a 5t plus 1 5 dt okay you have something like that the first the important things here you should know about the second square is equal to tan right but we have what we have 5t so the derivative of the angle so we have two things outside inside u outside du or we have trigonometric functions angle when i say trigonometric functions i mean sine Cosine, tan, secant, cosecant, cotan, anything, okay? All of them, the, the six of, uh, those six that we mentioned before, angle, okay? So we have du of 
angle okay so that's all that we need so here's the I know the second square is going to be a uh, tan how about the angle the angle should the derivative of here should be exist here so it's equal to 5 dt and we have already so we see is equal to 5t plus 1 plus c that's all okay dear uh, the very important things do not forget about these two rules how about the example 4 page 11 okay so what we have we have the cosine 7 theta plus 3 d theta so you know we have the trigonal uh, triangle it's okay i know the cosine will be a uh, sine of the uh, i don't know maybe you have you haven't so the derivative here the derivative of angle is what is equal to 7 but we haven't 7 here so we will add 7 to here because we need it to here and we cannot add something without uh, calculation without uh, counting the other part so we have plus 3 plus uh, 3 and plus c that's all that we need it's easy just do not forget about inside and outside if you have an angle with an exponent or not and do not forget about the triangle uh, triangle uh, trigonometric uh, functions with the angle and outside the angle derivative of the angle that's all about this page look here's the trigonom uh, triangle uh, trigonometric functions and here's the angle okay angle and where's the derivative we need the derivative so you put seven here and one over seven outside seven here one over se seven outside next page uh, we set another example is talking about uh, another rule the same we have what we have x square okay example 5 page 12 section 5.4 so you see that we if we have x square sine integral of x square sine okay dear uh, sine of x cube dx as i mentioned please try to organize it first of all what we have we have the trigonometric function and how about the angle we have x to power t so the derivative of angle angle be like that angle the derivative of angle is equal to 3x squared dx we have x squared here we have dx so it remains just what to rearrange it to be uh, to guess what we need okay it's better to be like that so you know we need three and one over three that's all so now it's ready to to take the sign you know is equal to minus cosine okay plus c that's all i think it's easy now the substitution way here is working this example is important important uh, and need a uh, work What's the substitution method okay substitution method so this is the method this example will help you to find and uh, to uh, recognize or to learn something else okay that's why I say important so you have got an idea so uh, for that example I'm going to give you more detail we have an example 6 okay page 12 section 5.4 we have what we have integral of x 2x plus 1 dx the first of all the student will decide to change this one to the other part for example you say let be like that x dx okay so let be like that so uh, why we cannot use this one because it's not about outside and inside why the derivative of here is equal to 2 okay so how about this how we deal with this x how we throw it we cannot throw it. you cannot take it out careful with the integral you cannot take out the x as a you say is a, it's a taboo so kafir okay do not take the x to outside the integral it's ever never don't take to outside the integral okay so how can how we solve this one 
because here's the problem. So now we are going to use the substitution method. Substitution method. When I say method, means that you need work. Let's say that let, where's the problem? Here. Let under the, the problem place, under the, what you see under the square root, be you. Now, how about du? How about the du? Derivative of here is equal to dx. Am I right? I take the derivative of the left side, and I also we took the derivative to the right side. So it remains like that. Now, how about x? Why I need the x? Later, I'm going to tell you. So x is equal to what from here? Let me. This is equation one. Okay. This one is equation two. How about x? U is equal to two x plus one. So uh, 2x is equal to u minus 1, am I right? And uh, x will be equal to what? Will be u minus 1 over 2. So x is equal to u minus 1 over 2. This is the exam uh, equation number 3. Now, we change our example from this part into u part. u part. Okay? How? X is equal to what? X is equal to U minus 1 over 2. I'm going to buy 3. Okay. How about this square root is equal to what? This square root is equal to square root of U. Am I right? By equation 1. How about DX is equal to what? DX is equal to to dx du sorry dx is equal to dx is equal to du divided by two so du by two this is by equation two okay so I change this one to u it's equal to u minus one over two and I change this one to u again and we change this one to u that's all we we did it here so I repeat it for you this step okay so now it's time to take the numbers out. 1 over 2, multiply 1 over 2 is equal to 1 over 4, the integral. We have u minus 1, u 1 over 2, du. Am I right? 1 over 2, that's it. So multiply this one to here. I will get 1 over 4. u to power 3 over 2 minus u 1 over 2, du. Am I right? Am I right? Yes. 1 plus 1 over 2. The base are equal. We added uh, exponent. So we get 3 over 2. How about here? The same. So uh, in that case, so this one, this one, it's easy. Now it's time to separate the uh, integral because we say the integral is what? can be uh, distributed over uh, minus and plus du okay now this one is equal to what going to the new page 1 over 4 and you know we will add it's equal to we will add u to power 3 over 2 will be 5 over 2 why because 3 over 2 plus 1 okay 3 over 2 plus 1, let me like that. Minus 1 over 4, and you know, you will be what? 1 over 2 plus 1, 1 over 2 plus 1 plus C. Now it's time to, uh, to uh, do what, what you have. It will be equal to, um, equal to uh, what? 5 over 2, yeah. 5 over 2, here's also 5 over 2, minus 1 over 4, u to power 3 over 2, 3 over 2, plus c, and time to do the uh, reversing this one, it will be 2 over 5 is equal to 1 over 10, okay, u to power 5 over 2, minus this one is going to up to 1 over 6, okay, u to power 3 over 2 plus c. Now you finished. But do not forget 
we gave you x before it was x so just use equation 1 to substitute by equation 1 u is equal to what? 2x plus 1 now just put the u2 here so you will get what? 1 over 10 x 2x plus 1 5 over 2 minus 1 over 6 2x plus 1 3 over 2 plus c that's all okay dear that's all that we have so uh, this is a really interesting example and try to do it one more and more i know it's not easy for you because i use the substitution methods uh, you don't forget how to mate we made this one and try to make this one as uh, we did before and you have an exercise i will give you more example on it again we have two methods example seven we have two methods for solving i'm going to solve by one method and the, the rest will be easy so example seven page 13 say that if you have two z dz okay here we have three z squared plus one i know this one can be written as a two z dz but here it can be written as a z squared plus one one over three and i am going to raise this one to up the derivative or the power will be z squared plus one minus one over three okay two z dz and you know we have outside and inside so the derivative is exist so just i say that z squared plus one minus one over three plus one minus one over three plus one plus c so the result will be what will be uh, three over two z squared plus one two over three plus c that's the result okay dear as easy we i used really the um, what do you say this method quickly the last two things example here i'm going to solve one of them for you this will, the second will be hard because they are the same and this uh, will be the last example in this section one point for, uh, sorry 5.4 example 8 okay page 13 in your section 5.4 Four. so we have a sine square of x dx just simply we know the sine of x dx can be directly be cosine of x dx and this is the first like a review for you okay and I know the sine of alpha x dx will be equal to sine sorry minus cosine alpha x over alpha plus c the first is clear just the rule how about the second i'm going to give you the example for example if i have sine of 2x dx directly i, I can use this alpha method alpha way or alpha integral I is equal to minus cosine 2x over 2 plus c. How? Because I know the triangle and the, the derivative of angle should be 2. And I'm going to add 2, 1 over 2. Then it will be the cosine. And then I will multiply by this one. So it's the first way. How about cosine? Cosine alpha x dx. Directly you can say is equal to sine alpha x over alpha plus c. And as an example, I'm going to give you this example cosine 5x dx will be equal to sine 5x over 5 plus c okay so if you want to solve this one you cannot directly solve because this is not sine there's no alpha this is the square so you should change this square to the linear to the power something to power one okay so how we change this one you will change it by the rule which rule that you have we have two rules do not forget i am going to write for right here for you cosine square of x we say is equal to one plus cosine 2x over 2 and sine square of x 
is equal to 1 minus cosine 2x over 2. Do not forget about these ru two rules. It was also written for you here. Okay? Do not forget about this one. They are important as a review. So it's the identity of the trigonometric functions is very important. You can use it here. So in that case, we are going to change this one to minus cosine 2x over 2 dx. Which is equal to 1 over 2 will come to out. It remains 1 minus cosine 2x. Am I right? dx. And 1 over 2, you can see dx. Minus 1 over 2, you can see cosine 2x dx. And you know how to solve the alpha. Which is equal to 1 over 2x minus 1 over 2 uh, sine 2x over 2 plus c. That's all. So the result will be the last result will be 1 over 2x minus sine 2x over 4 1 over 2 1 over 2 plus c. Try to use uh, to solve the cosine. It's the same that we did do here. Thank you for watching. Your uh, section is easy and it's uh, uh, not more. So just uh, five uh, pages and try to solve the other example that I gave to you. Thank you for being here. Uh, see you by in the next video.